Hello, welcome to Call of the Week Card Talk. I'm Rob Nardi Nine. I'm Shaka. So, which of the dawn is the name of the card we are going to talk about today? It's a common creature, three power. So, this is one of the witches you don't need to kill on sight because mm. it has a play effect, and then mm-hmm. that's it. <laughs> play, return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. Okay, I like it. It's regrowth, except instead of a pip in an action, it's mm-hmm. a creature. So imagine having multiples of these. You can chain and, and bring all the other ones back. Now you have a bunch of bodies on the board. That's pretty nice. Mm, yeah, and it's common. Yeah, so yeah, I mean that could easily happen. You have great targets like Mookling. Yeah. you can get your Key Frog back. You can get your Deepwater Gruins back. That's two pips. Molly Mock play destroy an artifact it's a creature take okay. care of some artifacts yeah yep you brought it back but we can't forget about chelonia which is the hunting witch derivative of this set yeah huge you just bring huge. it back yeah it's like oh yeah i twin bolted your chelonia and like now i can breathe easy like no witch of the dawn is back and the tide's high so mm-hmm. you just go to a burst <laughs> right away and then there's no choda or nature's call follow-up but you can key frog potentially you can try to do a key frog like infighting combo it's a little bit it's a little bit harder to do right a possible combo that i didn't see before would be reap with your pariah monkeys and blow up your key frog and then you play witch of the dawn and uh, bring it back and then play down your other pariah monkeys or something it's rare so that's not as likely but pariah monkeys could be a way to uh to trigger your key frog and then you could immediately bring it back with witch of the dawn and have that threat on the board again that needs to be addressed bringing a creature back is just really really good always always great (laughs) your opponent can't even respond to it which of the eye it has to reap before that you bring the card back which of the dawn nope you just it's back right away it's immediately in your hand yeah you could run into situations though, like let's say you have Witch of the Dawn and you discarded like some off house stuff or it died in a previous turn. You do have to bring it back. So that can get in the way from time to time. But in general, regrowth, I consider it to be a really good card. And I think having the same effect on a creature reminds me of the uh, Helper Bot or Phase Shift uh, distinction. Right. So, that, well, Phase Shift didn't have a pip on it and, and regrowth did. Uh, but on the other hand, this has three power instead of one. So I think it's pretty comparable. I like Witch of the Dawn a lot. This would have been broken in Coda with all the hunting witches and nature's call. Just get oh my gosh. absurd. Like just stupid. So glad that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But I, I am happy to see it here. And today for this episode, we're actually going to look at the evil twin as well. So Witch of the Dawn Evil Twin is still three power, and it also has a play effect. It says play, destroy another friendly creature. If you do, play a different creature from your discard pile. Ready and use that creature. All right. So the original Witch of the Dawn was like regrowth. This one is like exhume slash essence scale. So you do have to pay a cost, like destroy another friendly creature. So sadly, it can't hit itself. Because that would just be a more broken version of Exhume. Yeah. So they did catch that. And they said it has to be another friendly creature. And ready and use that creature. Okay. There's so many great cards in this game that have a reap effect. And we think like it'd be nice if it was a little bit faster. Like I want to be able to use it uh, on the turn that I play it, let's say. So you're destroying something. Maybe in the best case, you destroy your key frog and forge. Or you're destroying Mm -hmm. something that you don't need. You're trading a creature on the on the board for like your best creature that's in the discard pile, and you get to ready and use it. Yeah, so the, yeah. I think this is a case where the original and the evil twin are both really good in different ways. Definitely, you could put your youngest bear evil twin into play and use it to fight with one of the neighbors, which is the youngest bear's reap effect you could get your eldest bear into play and get value off of fighting with that you could put your dredging druid into play which is a creature that allows you to put up to three creatures from your discard pile on top of your deck so you could see some serious value stacking up for your next turn bring back a whole slew of creatures from another house that you're gonna wreak havoc with yeah i think whenever you see witch of the dawn in your deck it's gonna make your deck better regardless of the other cards all right well that is witch of the dawn and witch of the dawn evil twin 
Come back tomorrow for another look at another set of cards.